Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2. Today, John Coleman and I have the pleasure of speaking with Bill Jordan, our favorite boomer. Well, thank you, guys. You must not know many boomers. No, we don't. Hey, hey Bill, <laughs> um, you know that Celebrating Act 2, our motto is... Uh, the user manual for the rest of your life. And Art and I always like to say that we're living longer and and healthier. And we've got a lot more a life ahead of us than our previous generations, our parents or grandparents. And therefore we need to live it to the fullest. Yeah. Yeah. But it's uh, it's about longevity and health. That's yeah, I think there's, there's lifespan and there's health span. Uh, yes. And people worry about how long they're going to live. And I'm, I'm more concerned about my quality of life. Um, if I am being kept here by plugs and machines and all that stuff, I don't think I want that for myself nor for my friends or family. So I'm just trying to... Um, be a little more mindful, you know, I, and be, to each his own, and that's fine. This is not a knock on anybody, but I do get a little twinge when I hear a friend or family member say, hey, man, you know, there's, a, there's a quote going around about, hey, so life is short, enjoy the cake and eat the pudding and, you know, party and all. If, it, if it's taking a toll on your body, which will then take a toll on your mind, and you find yourself getting the hips replaced and the knees and ankles replaced and all that stuff, and you start flirting with heart disease and everything else. I just like to think that, and a lot of this can be genetic, so I don't want to sound too preachy about it, but I think for whatever component of that, we can have a vote, we should vote, and we should vote well. But that's, again, just for me, I'm not trying to preach, but it, I think at some point you're going to have to decide, do you want to live a long time or do you want to be healthy for as long as you can be? Yeah, well, that's the old Latin carpe diem, you know, live Seize for today. today. And yeah. uh, the new uh, slogan for me is not just live for today, but live for today. And in other words, enjoy every day, mm. but recognize that we're going to have a lot more days. As we get older, um, you hit your 50s, you know, you've got to re have retirement and you're going to have this and you don't know how long you've got. When you hit your 60s, somehow it gets a little narrow. You hit your 70s, you start saying, well, what is the... Uh, what do the actuarial calendars say about oh, how long I'm going to live? I'm, six, I'm 67. I'm going, you know, actuary tables give me 10 years. Right? Yeah. You, you, you find out about them real soon when they tell you how long your 401k is supposed to last and what your required minimum distributions are. Uh, somebody has already pretty well figured that out. But have but already worked it out. But to quote, yeah. to, to paraphrase uh, Bill Jordan uh, and conversations that John and I have all the time is uh, we, we are living as a generation longer, healthier lives. And um, uh, I think that's going to continue and it's going to even be longer and healthier for our kids. But as far as we're concerned, to paraphrase uh, Bill Jordan, there'll be more pudding days in front of us. Hey, enjoy the pudding. Just don't subsist on it. That's what right. I'm yes. saying. So you're saying we shouldn't embrace the pudding, but we can enjoy it. We can enjoy it. I think yeah, so. we can. And look, it, it, it's if you enjoy it, think of all those years you've got ahead of you that you can enjoy. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you all a quick story? And I know we want to make this quick, but I, I, need, I want to share with you, if I may, a message I got from a friend of mine. And he had to do, he, he thanked me for one of my practices, which could have been actually several of them, mainly don't give up what you want most for what you want now. And he is a little younger than I am. He's pretty heavy, had been pretty heavy. At the beginning of the month, his doctors told him they wanted him to fast for 72 hours, three days. He said, I was amazed at how good I felt. He walked nine holes of golf, felt amazing, felt his energy was up. He's on to this intermittent fasting thing. He's kind of given up red meat. I'm not doing that, but he gave up red meat. He's lost 13 pounds in the month and feels amazing. Good for him. With just a little bit of a tweak of the intermittent fasting. You know, the, the I think when I've looked back over the Celebrating Act 2 videos, I think our most popular one was the one where we talked about intermittent fasting. 
Mm. It's a huge, huge thing right now. And, you know, don't do it. You know, talk to your doctor. I think Art was quick to point that out before when we talked about it. Don't do any kind of thing like that exercise program or diet without talking to your to your medical professional. But if you are interested in maybe an improved health span when it comes to weight and even cognitive ability, because I feel that I feel like I'm a my mental acuity might even be a little bit better. Maybe that's a maybe I'm fooling myself. But with the intermittent fasting, I am amazed at the energy I've got and how much better I feel. Mm. Interesting. But you know, celebrating Act Two, we cover all kinds of topics, just yep. about every topic it can come up with. And most of them are oriented towards all of us living a better life longer. We all know we're living longer. The question is not about living longer, it's Equality. about living healthier. Exactly. Yeah. Health yeah. is wealth, as they say. That's a cliche, but it's a cliche because it's true. Yep. Health is wealth. Yep. And that's why we need to embrace the boom. No question about it, guys. Just the, It's a, just a reminder, really, to as a baby boomer or anywhere where you might be in your life, to live your life, forget your age, and in the case of baby boomers, embrace the boom. Amen, brother. Thanks for having me, guys. We'll see you Thanks, soon. Bro. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.